So in the last video, I uh, showed putting in my ground wire, and uh, this uh, this one this time I'm putting in some uh, the actual wire that's going to carry the power from the solar panels over to the solar shed with the uh, charge controller and all that business. Each panel has a positive and a negative that come out. So I'm connecting here my positive and negative between these two and the positive and negative between these two panels. So these three now are connected in series. And then I did the same thing down there. So those three are connected in series. And then I gotta take these two that are hanging down here and we're gonna go to parallel from that. And that should give me the uh, proper amps and voltage that I'm looking for. That is 103.7 volts that this is putting out right now. So this has got me rethinking now. I think I may go with the other setup and have two panels in a series instead of three in a series because with that being over a hundred and my max is 115. Yeah. So today's kind of chilly out. That's why it's outputting more. Um, I just don't know how much more it's gonna output on a really cold day. And that's got me a little worried now. So I don't wanna burn up my charge controller. After some uh, deliberating, I'm back to this now instead. So doing two in a series and then paralleling the series together. So I will need those connectors that go from three to one for each one of these. I got 10 gauge wire, which should be able to handle that amperage. And then 60.8 should be well under, even when with the voltage increasing on cold days. All right, so this is with uh, two in series and that's outputting 68.7 volts now. So this is how you put on these connectors, the MC4s. Um, you got a male and female ends, and uh, you gotta put one of those on each one. So you gotta strip your wire, which I've already done here. And then there's these little connectors, or these interior parts here, that go on the wire, and you gotta crimp down and they only fit in specific, like to their counterpart. So um, if you don't know which one, if you take it apart, uh, you can fit them in there. So if it fits in, then that one goes. Uh, there's a, this other one is smaller. So it's gonna be the, the smaller tip that goes in that one. So, We'll just, I know I need one on each end, so we'll just pick one and go for it. Get my crimper here, get it set in the crimper first. Just started like that. And then I'm gonna take my wire and put it in there. And then you just squeeze down. So it clicks. And then you got your crimped connection there. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use this other connection. Cause see, when you connect these together, they go like that. They fit onto one another. There we go. It just screws on. And you take these little wrenches here and one goes on that. goes here so tighten it down there it is that's one side done and you just repeat for the other one there it is and we got a cable the male and female on each end 
All right, so we got our wires coming over uh, to this branch connector. So these are all paralleled now and it's putting out 68.9 volts. All right, we got the cords run over all the way to the solar shed. And got them hooked up there to the switch that can cut power from the panels and wires running over and up into the charge controller. So we should be good to turn it on. Oh, this is scary. All right, so we got the batteries on. I'm gonna switch on the grow watt. Is that lovely noise? And this is supposed to think, I think show uh, battery level, but it's not going to just yet. Ooh, I got myself good there, didn't I? Uh, it's not going to, cause I don't have a, there's a communication cable you have to hook in to one of these and up there and I don't have that. I've got it somewhere, but I'm hooked up yet. All right, so we're outputting. I don't have the AC side turned on, but it's outputting voltage now. So now we hook up the, we flip the breaker here for the panels. I don't know what's supposed to happen now. You would think there'd be some indication. Oh, there's the indication. Hmm. Alarm. All right. I should shut off the panels. Do not know what that's about. Yeah, so something's up. And I gotta figure it out. But as usual, I don't have time today. So you'll have to stay tuned to the next video.